The world's first synthetic biological intelligence runs on living human brain cells. Scientists in Australia created a miniature brain in a box, which is what this cute little sensing device here is, that does AI algorithms on human brain cells. This, so why not build a true neural network? And I think this is a frightening concept. It's man-made horrors beyond my comprehension, analogous to brain in a jar, or perhaps somewhat uh, overlapping with the ending of Harlan Ellison's classic novel, I Have No Mouth and I Must Scream. But the science behind this is fascinating. In this little box right here, they've built the world's first biological computer that fuses human brain cells with silicon hardware to form a fluid neural network and has already been commercially launched. You can license one of these things for $35,000 per month, I believe it is, and the company is rapidly working on building more. It's an Australian company called Cortical Labs, and this little device is the CL1. And the way that it works, that I'm going to try to describe it as briefly as possible, is they took human brain cells, or stem cells, and got them to grow into brain cells, and then got them to form around the electrodes, around the array, around the glass, and they put it all in this nice box, which you have a little bit of sight on here to where you can see there's a really advanced filtration and nutrition system and feedback system and sensing system and the system to train the neurons and all the things that we need for neuronal support from this work. You can see some of the others that they're also cooking up in the lab. They want to have at least four of these working before the end of the year. And the scientists that created it keep talking about it being a completely different life. They say it, we almost view it as actually a kind of different form of life to let's say animal or human. This is a bio computer hybrid. We think of it as a mechanical and engineering approach to intelligence, and we're using the substrate of intelligence, human brain cells, which is biological neurons, but we're assembling them in a new way. So they kind of believe they may have created the world's first intelligent artificial life. That's a little bit of a generous uh, <laughs> moniker to give it considering the task that the device can currently run, but it makes me think about the silicon life from the classic manga Blame or really any sort of artificial Borg non-human like life. It's very cool actually though. I've been dogging on it a little bit. I've been having a lot of fun, but running an AI neural network on human brain cells is going to wildly outperform just about anything other than a quantum computer. So we probably will be making some scientific breakthroughs with this device.